Hello! Today, we're going to have fun and enjoy while learning arithmetic sequence. I am Cherry Dons and welcome to Grade 10 Mathematics. Our target, illustrate an arithmetic sequence, determine the common difference and end term of an arithmetic sequence, and solving problems involving arithmetic sequence. Important notes. Arithmetic sequence is a sequence in which each term after the first is obtained by adding a fixed number to the preceding term. The fixed number is called the common difference. It is denoted by small letter D. Alright, we have here a sequence. 2, 5, 8, 11, and 14. Here A sub 1 is 2. A sub 2 is 5. A sub 3 is 8, A sub 4 is 11, and A sub 5 is 14. Let's find out if it is an arithmetic sequence or not. It says here that the sequence is arithmetic if the difference between two consecutive terms are the same. So, we're going to subtract the second term to the first term. A sub 2 to A sub 1, that is 5 minus 2, the answer is 3. Next, subtracting a sub 3 to a sub 2, that is 8 minus 5, it is equal to 3. a sub 4 minus a sub 3, that is 11 minus 8, the answer is 3. And a sub 5 minus a sub 4, that is 14 minus 11, it is equal to 3. The answer is called common difference. It is represented by small letter D. Again, how to find for the common difference? Get the value of the second term, then subtract it to the first term. That is, a sub 2 minus a sub 1, it is equal to d. Or, you can get the value of the third term, then subtract it to the value of the second term. That is, a sub 3 minus a sub 2, it is equal to d. And so on. Yes, the given sequence is arithmetic because the difference between two consecutive terms are the same. Okay, the formula for the n term of an arithmetic sequence is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 multiplied by d, where a sub n is the n term, a sub 1 is the first term, n is the number of terms, and d is the common difference. Finding the n term, we have example number 1. Find the 13th term of the arithmetic sequence 3, 6, 9, and so on. Solution, let us write first all the given. Since we're looking for the n term that is denoted by a sub n, which is equal to a sub 13, and that is unknown. a sub 1 is your first term, which is 3. n is 13. Again, how to get for the value of the common difference? Subtract the second term to the first term. a sub 2 minus a sub 1, that is 6 minus 3, it is equal to 3. So, d is equal to 3. Applying the formula, we have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 multiplied by d. Substituting the value, we have 3 goes to a sub 1, 13 goes to n, and 3 goes to d. A sub 13 now is equal to 3 plus quantity 13 minus 1, that is 12, multiplied by 3. So, it is equal to 3 plus 12 multiplied by 3, that is 36. So, we have now 3 plus 36, and your A sub 13 now is equal to 39. Example number 2. Find the 24th term of an arithmetic sequence, negative 2, negative 5, negative 8, and so on. Solution, given, again, we're looking for the n term. So, a sub n is equal to a sub 24, and that is unknown. a sub 1 is your first term, which is equal to negative 2. n is 24. Okay, how to get for the value of the common difference? You're going to subtract the second term to the first term. A sub 2 minus A sub 1, that is negative 5 minus negative 2, it is equal to negative 3. So, D is equal to negative 3. 
applying the formula, we have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 multiplied by d. Substituting the value, negative 2 goes to a sub 1, 24 goes to n, negative 3 goes to d. A sub 24 now is equal to negative 2 plus quantity 24 minus 1, that is 23, multiplied by negative 3. So, it is equal to negative 2 plus 23 multiplied by negative 3, that is negative 69. So, we have negative 2 plus negative 69. Your A sub 24 now is equal to negative 71. The 21st term of an arithmetic sequence is 64. If the common difference is 3, find the first term. That is example number 3. Solution Given We are looking for the value of a sub 1. n is 21. d is 3. a sub n is equal to a sub 21. That is 64. So applying the formula, we have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 multiplied by d. 21 goes to n, 3 goes to d, 64 goes to a sub n. We have 64 is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity 21 minus 1 multiplied by 3. 21 minus 1, that is 20. 64 now is equal to a sub 1 plus 20 multiplied by 3, that is 60. So, 64 is equal to a sub 1 plus 60. By transposition method, Transpose positive 60 to the other side of the equation, it becomes negative. Or you can also use the addition property of equality. 64 minus 60 is equal to a sub 1, but 64 minus 60 is 4. So your a sub 1 is equal to 4. Example number 4 is all about finding the number of terms. How many terms are in? An arithmetic sequence whose first term is negative 4, common difference is 2, and the last term is 42. Solution Given your a sub 1 is equal to negative 4, n is unknown, d is 2, a sub n is equal to 42. Applying the formula, we have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 multiplied by d, where negative 4 goes to a sub 1, 2 goes to d, 42 goes to a sub n. So, we have 42 is equal to negative 4 plus quantity n minus 1 multiplied by 2. By distributive property of multiplication, we multiply 2 to quantity n minus 1, that is 2n minus 2. So, 42 now is equal to negative 4 plus 2n minus 2. Combining like terms, negative 4 plus negative 2 is equal to negative 6. 42 now is equal to negative 6 plus 2n. Then, transpose negative 6 to the other side of the equation. From negative, it becomes positive. 42 plus 6, that is 48, equals 2n. 48 now is equal to 2n. Divide both sides by 2 to isolate n. We have 48 divided by 2 is equal to 24. 2n divided by 2 is equal to n. So, n is equal to 24. Here's another example in finding the number of terms. Example number 5. In an arithmetic sequence, 4, 7, 10, 13, and so on, which term has a value of 295? Solution? Given. Your a sub 1 is equal to 4. n is unknown. d is 3. a sub n is equal to 295. Applying the formula, we have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 multiplied by d. Where 4 goes to a sub 1, 3 goes to d, 295 goes to a sub n. We have now 295 is equal to 4 plus quantity n minus 1 multiplied by 3. By distributive property of multiplication, we multiply 3 to quantity n minus 1. That is 3n minus 3. So 295 is equal to 4 plus 3n minus 3. Combining like terms, we have 4 plus Negative 3 is equal to 1. 295 now is equal to 1 plus 3n. Then transpose 1 to the other side of the equation. From positive, it becomes negative. 295 minus 1, that is 294. 294 now is equal to 3n. Divide both sides by 3 to isolate n. We have 294 divided by 3, that is equal to 98. 
3n divided by 3 is equal to n. So, n is equal to 98. Finding the common difference is our last example. So, example number 6. Find the common difference of an arithmetic sequence if a sub 1 is 5 and a sub 7 is 17. Solution. Given, your a sub 1 is equal to 5. n is 7. d is unknown. a sub n is equal to a sub 7 which is equal to 17. Now, applying the formula we have. A sub n is equal to A sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 multiplied by D. Where 5 goes to A sub 1, 7 goes to n, and 17 goes to A sub n. We have now 17 is equal to 5 plus quantity 7 minus 1 multiplied by D. By distributive property of multiplication, we multiply D to quantity 7 minus 1. That is 7D minus D. So 17 is equal to 5 plus 7D minus D. Combining like terms, we have 7D minus D that is equal to 6D. 17 now is equal to 5 plus 6D. Then transpose 5 to the other side of the equation. From positive, it becomes negative. 17 minus 5 that is 12. 12 now is equal to 6D. Divide both sides by 6 to isolate D. We have 12 divided by 6 that is 2. 6D divided by 6 is equal to D. So, the common difference D is equal to 2. I hope you enjoy our discussion for today. See you again for our next lesson. Thank you, have a nice day, and God bless everyone!